guys, welcome back. Today we've got a lock with a bit of a story behind it. Uh, recently a relative of mine was uh, visiting and uh, he told me about uh, something that had happened recently. He was called to um, assist an elderly friend of his, an elderly lady, who had broken her key on the inside of her door and she couldn't lock her door. Well, he went and he tried to get the broken key out, but uh, he couldn't get it out. Uh, so they called the locksmith, and the locksmith apparently tried to get the key out, and uh, he wasn't able to do it, or um, didn't want to do it. He'd rather sell them a brand new lock. Um, I'm not sure if they did accept that offer in the end or not, but anyway, uh, he charged them quite a lot for the call-out charge. Um, so he took the lock to Timpsons, the key-cutting people, and I don't think an awful lot of Timpsons personally, but uh, they weren't able to get the broken key out either. And so he contacted this unusual, I think it's Swiss, um, door company, who had manufactured the, the entire lock mechanism. And uh, another problem that the lady had was, and, and she had adapters and things to assist with this, but... Another problem was that she had a very weak wrist and uh, wasn't able to lift the handle up to lock the door uh, like we would. Um, and so, um, basically he contacted the company and asked, explained the uh, problem and he sent the the lock out to, uh, out to them and uh, they sent a replacement lock and a replacement cylinder and... Uh, so, in the end of the day, this lady spent probably over £200 and went for at least two weeks without a working door lock. And, um, yeah, so what a waste of time, eh? Um, and a lot, big waste of money. So, uh, anyway, at the end of the conversation, basically this relative told me, yeah, I've got the, the lock in the back of my car if you want to uh, have a look at it. And so I said, sure. And, uh gave the lock to me and I saw, sure enough, there was a broken uh, key inside it and uh, I didn't have any tools at the time but what I did have was a key ring and uh, on my key ring I so happened to have one of these split ring things and this one so happened to be quite an old one that I had bent apart and so I just encouraged it open a little bit and I disassembled the two halves just by removing these screws here and I was able, it was on this half that the key was stuck, I was able to poke the key out. Obviously I had to turn the, the cord to the upwards uh, position, the vertical position, which I think the uh, locksmith and the Timpsons people failed to do. And I was able to remove that broken key within seconds, guys. Within seconds. So, well, anyway, I've got free lock now, so I'm going to try and pick it. And... Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous, guys. I personally don't think an awful lot of locksmiths nowadays. Um, I mean, the guys that are on UK Lock Sports, if they're members of a forum, I'm pretty sure they are they know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, you can go on a two-day course, three-day course or something and call yourself a locksmith. And really, half the guys out there are just out there to sell you a new lock to... Uh, to get you to spend a lot of money, they're scammers, really. Uh, now, that obviously doesn't apply to a lot of them, to some of them, uh, but, you know, I'd say most of them are pretty cheeky. Um, I think this kind of lock is called a Scandinavian Oval. I've seen most of these made by Asa Abloy. I actually have one right here. This is a spare cylinder. Um, so, let's have a go at picking it and see how we get on. And apparently the lady had some old keys, so uh, hopefully those will get posted my way. Not that we need any keys, of course. So I, w I was just in total shock. Within seconds I was able to get that broken key out. I mean, I've got broken key extractors, which I would have used, and there we are. That's it, open. So I could have picked the lock open, even for this lady. I've got broken key extractors, which I could have tried using 
Um, but even if the locksmith didn't have those, he could easily, you know, take the clip off the back here and take the core out, and the key would then just fall out. Um, I should have said earlier, it's a six pin, and uh, this is the side that doesn't have all the drill protection stuff. Just maybe have looked at that side. What I don't get is why they put the drill protection on either side here, but not one in the middle. Um, I have already taken this apart to have a look at this half, um, but that's what I don't get, why they don't put drill protection right in the middle, because somebody could use a nice narrow drill bit and drill right through the centre there. Um, so, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this side doesn't have drill protection because it's the inside. Um, but I think by way of pins, both halves are the same. Pull the clip off. Okay, this tailpiece part seems to be stuck in there. Held in by that wire thing, most likely. You can see the edges of the wire on either side there. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I've never seen that before. Perhaps our... Yeah, like a treat. That will work. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Grab my board. And out you come. Ooh, okay. Um, so it looks like this half of the cylinder does have um, holes for drill protection, so maybe they just mass produce these cores um, all the same. But the other one, the other side has drill protection pins in these holes here, uh, whereas obviously the inside didn't need them. You can actually see all the way through these holes. Anyway, and mm, that smells of WD 40 to me, which is hardly surprising. I think they must have used that to try and get the broken key out. It's probably the locksmith, myth, to be honest. So let me wipe this off, and then we'll drop out our pins. And as I do so, I'm going to rub them on this paper towel to get the oil off. That's from chamber three. Four. This is how I clean locks, uh, like old locks that I get. I take all the pins out and I, cl I clean them up this way. Just rub, rub them with my fingers. That last one's a bit stubborn. Alright, I don't see anything unusual about this core really. I don't recognize, I, I do recognize the keyway, but I can't, um, I couldn't tell you where the keyway's from. Um, if anybody knows the, the name of that keyway, I'd like to know. Alright, this is the inside, as you can see, it's got this interesting, uh, cutout here for the screws to go in. Alright. Let me just switch plug followers. I don't like this plug follower really. Um, I can use it for this half. Alright, so we have a serrated pin in one. Uh, lightly serrated. It's something similar to what Abus do. Um, whoops. Pin two. The spool. Okay. Pin three is a spool. It looks like a longer spool, so maybe they're matching spools to uh, the, the drivers to suit the pin lengths. Okay, another spool. It did feel very spooly right enough. Another spool. And another spool. Looks standard in, uh, to me in there. Uh, I notice in this half they don't have drill protection on the inside here, whereas on the other half it does. Um, so it must just be the cores that they produce all from.
from the same uh, section of the factory. So let's have a look at this. And uh, it may say on the key, uh, if I do get the key, it may say on the key which brand it is. And if it does, I'll put it in the title of the video. Um, so we have this serrated pin, very lightly serrated, quite similar to what we see in the Abus. Um, as you can see, I don't know if these serrations actually um, do anything uh, other than collect grime. Um, we have a serrated, sp oh, sorry, a spool, just a standard spool that looks a little bit thicker on this end. And the other spools are, okay, we have another spool here that looks a little bit thicker on the end. Um, this one here just looks like a standard spool to me. Okay, well, they look a little bit different. Maybe that's just slop and manufacturing. Anyway, so just a, an interesting um, lock with quite an interesting story behind it. And um, I thought I'd pick that on camera today. Well, guys, just a little bit to tag on to the end of the video here. Um, today I reached 300 subscribers, which is very exciting. Um, I am just blown away. Um, I cannot thank every single one of you enough. Uh, I really appreciate all the subscribers that I've got, and I still can't believe that there are so many people interested in my humble uh, YouTube videos, and my humble channel. Um, so thank you so much, guys, for the support. I've also been seeing recently more comments on my videos, and again, I really, really, really appreciate comments. Um, I just love comments. Even if I reply saying something like, thanks for watching, I still really, really um, appreciate every single comment that I get. So thank you again, guys, for all the support I've received. It's unbelievable. And uh, thanks for, you know, joining along with me and... Um, coming along in my uh, in my journey of lock sports anyway thanks for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it it's nice to pick a stock lock once in a while and uh, this one certainly had plenty of spool pins in it anyway thanks for watching and as always I'll see you in my next video